Why are you so fucking ugly, bro? Like, <laughs> 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 Bro. Just a couple of guys. <laughs> just hey, we're just vibing, bro. All right, where's your girl voice? Show me your girl voice. Let's go. I can't do a girl voice. Do, come on, dude. I bet you can't even do a girl voice. I can do definitely a girl voice. Okay, no more Collins. We're doing Finster. This is a totally different part of YouTube. This is another part of YouTube that I really like, but I don't watch hardcore. So I don't know if you guys have figured this out about me yet. I like a lot of people that I basically never watch. So I like Finster, but I almost n I never watch his content, right? I just like him because I'm like, oh, Finster's cool. And I see him on TikTok, but I don't like – I'm not a Finster watcher. I don't watch his videos. I skip through his videos to see what's going on in his life, right? That's how I watch a lot of people on YouTube that I know. This is Finster's webpage. You guys can see this. Okay, so Finster is like a very unique person. And even though I've been watching him and keeping track on him, I don't know as much about him as some of you might know. So please let me know if I'm missing any context because I'm still learning about him myself. The reason I wanted to cover him is somebody asked me to, but mostly I think it's interesting the journey that he's been on that's been pretty intense for his life, right? He's had this really interesting journey. If you guys know that Finster is, as far as I know, tell me if I'm incorrect on any of the information I'm giving out. He is a cis dude who is straight or maybe pansexual at this point, I'm not sure, but I think he's straight, right? Or like queer adjacent and um, not like straight, straight, but right? it's different. He's basically a cross-dresser, but is like, a f this is very confusing because they're all different subcategories. So I, I could be very wrong, but he's a guy who dresses up as a girl. It started off as a meme and then took off and now he does it basically full time and it's his whole shtick and he does live streams and he cuts up the live streams and makes videos. And he's in a relationship. He knows lots of interesting people. He um, is friends with other guys who dress up as girls. And he goes on like, I think it's called Omegle, right? And they like do those videos where you talk to people and then you surprise people with like your boy voice, but you like have a girl voice. It's very interesting. And the thing about Finster that stands out to me is that he is in a lot of mental health pain right now. He is suffering from body dysmorphia. He's like suffering from his identity. He's suffering from knowing what game to play. If I, if I'm, if I'm going to word it that way, I think the thing that stands out to me is that this is a person who kind of rose to fame in a very unique way, but also might be feel, might, I'm don't let me project, might feel trapped in the bubble he's orchestrated for himself. So this is his whole living. This is how he makes a living is by being a girl, but he's not a girl. But now he's confused about the way he looks. And I wanna show you a bit of Finster. So this is his page. And as you go down, you can kind of see how he makes the content. The thumbnails are very salacious. Like my girlfriend forgot I was recording. Or I went to Twitch contest as a girl. And it's like, meet my girlfriend. And I'm like, oh, meeting other like Twitch streamers. Um, you know, it's very like, oh, and it's very like, look at him and Belle Delphine, right? Like, ooh, it's like, ooh, what's this? And so the the thumbnails are very like clickbaity. He wants you to watch him, but he's like just doing what the audience wants. And so my concern for Finster, and I could be totally wrong, is that he's a great example of a content creator that doesn't make content necessarily for himself. He makes it for the meme and for the audience, which can be very, very difficult. But I also think he's so good at it. It's like, who else could he have been? Much like Belle Delphine. Belle was meant to be Belle Delphine. Nobody else could have been Belle. And nobody else can be Finster, even though there's Vlad. Like Vlad is one of the other girls who are guys. And look, this is Vlad. Like that is Vlad. Vlad is like literally, let me move the screen too for YouTube because I just noticed it's a little off. Vlad is like a boy. But Vlad dresses up like a girl and also does streams. And his makeup, like his his transformation is insane. I love Vlad videos. Like I'm a – I don't know anything about him really, but I love his videos. They're insane. Yeah. So even when Finn is dressed like himself, he still just looks like a girl because he maintains it so hard, right? Versus Vlad, like Vlad can go back to just being a hardcore boy, Right? Because he didn't grow out his natural hair. He wears a wig. I want to show you. I wonder if Vlad shows any of his costumes. See? So here's, here's Vlad. Do you guys see that? So this guy here is right here. 
And then this is Finster. So these two boys, okay, if you guys have never seen this, here's Vlad, super cute. Vlad's girl is super cute. The aesthetically just like so pleasing, right? And again, when you're playing a character so hard on the internet, you do lose yourself in it. I feel like I should give you guys the opportunity to just fully dress me up today. Give me your worst. You can pick. I'm not even going to do anything that you don't approve of, chat. Everyone either said, has said like... Like, okay, so do you get the, the, the thing with Finn is like people will send him clothes and outfits to dress up in. And imagine you're like, I hate to say this, but imagine you're like a really creepy guy on the internet. Someone like Finster is like a perfect opportunity for you to get like your rocks off in a very salacious way. But also it is what it is, right? So Finn is basically, in my view, an adult worker because that's what I'm assuming a lot of the revenue is coming from. Just like any Twitch streamer on the internet that kind of goes for sexy goth or barbie so every time we've ever done a goth thing i've tried i've tried tell me chat have i not tried it never ends up good i'm gonna let you vote for each piece of it it might end up a Why little bit disjointed but we can try it okay this is a terrible idea uh get dressed or do the makeup first oh vast majority is saying get dressed what the f do we wear then <laughs> like I, I thought the makeup would be easy. At least with the makeup, it's like an easy start. It's that. It, there's the only option is that one. Oh, I can damn. at least start. But now I've got to think about this. All right. Give me a second. I bought something. You may recognize the brand. Adult diapers. I didn't buy adult diapers. Okay. This is what I got. This is what I bought recently. I got it in medium. There is that as the option. I, 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 there is that. But I would like to inform you that I have never tried on before. It could be just too small. Could be too big. I don't know. Could be not good. We don't know. Do we do another poll? <laughs> is the strappy uh, blue floral one, right? Remember that picture? Me with short hair. The interesting thing. Oh, see? Okay, nice picture. So the interesting thing, again, I think about my life and I think about my career and I think about, wow, you could have been so many people. You could have played a character. You could have decided to do so many things with your life, right? But this is, oh, I see why my OBS is getting confused. Okay, my bad. Okay, I think about my career. I think about everything that I've done in terms of making sure that I'm as close to my authentic self as possible on YouTube because I didn't want to keep up with the character. But I want to know who Finn is. And even though Finn is obviously a person, Finn is also a person who's a boy playing a girl. But it's like at the expense of his mental health sometimes from what I've seen. We'll get there. I'll show it. But like this is this is what he does, right? He dresses up like a character and his whole shtick is you send me clothes and I'd be pretty for you. And there's something really real about that, right? Though confusing, right? Okay, solid. Here's the one that Stav mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> That's so in short, this one you mean? Okay, right, all right, all right. There is that one as well. Those are your options. If you've got any other favorites, I'll add it, chat. All right, the make. Like, okay, I'm gonna say this out loud, but this is not a projection onto Finn. It would be very difficult for me to allow my audience to dictate what I wore or everything that I did. Right. Um, the line is very blurred between huge streamers, life and work. Yes, it's a big problem. I, again, blessings that I'm small and I maintain and I appreciate you guys being here. Finn is such an authentic seeming person, but I can see the struggle and he's so wonderful. He like really has a good vibe. I can tell he has good intentions, but I want to make sure that he's not crushing himself under the weight of the expectation. I would not personally be able to handle an audience telling me what to wear or dressing up. It would feel very weird. And Finn does it. He makes... He has a good relationship with it, but I wonder if it ever, well, I, I feel like I do see evidence that it eats him up a bit, but let's keep going. Let's keep going. Made one. Okay, it. we'll do the, all right. This is going to be the most important decisions you make all night chat. The look's going to probably match what you give me. The maid dress, the schoolgirl outfit has came in in a massive lead. Holy sh um, I want to talk about, sorry, I just thought about it. Two different groups that would objectify Finn in a way that makes me uncomfortable. Men who want to objectify the femboy or the sissy girl, right? And women who want to objectify how pretty and cute and doll-like he is. Lots of women have very toxic boy-boy love relationship dreams, fantasies. Lots of girls have very objectify the cute boy fantasies. Lots of girls objectify like quote-unquote sissy boys or girly boys or femboys as like toys. And I think that's super, super creepy, but we've seen it with like K-pop fans. You know what I mean? <sighs> <laughs> I can't, I'm so, I, I'm, I, dude, I can't do it. It's so cringy. It's so bad. Okay, f***ing hell.
Oh, you just made it to a live stream? Oh, this is great. Good timing. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna end it. This is it. This is my last live stream. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit right now. This is it. This is, <laughs> this is the end of it. Alright. Don't look at us. I, I can't. I can't not. Alright. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> ah, Alright. Thank you for the thousand dollars, Joey. <laughs> I can't! Hey, just- Oh! Let's go back. Oh, no! Rules, like, way too much. Wait! Five shots of- No! The one-year mark. It it's not a good- Joey. <laughs> there. I can't! He just said, thank you for the thousand dollars, Joey. Thank you for the thousand dollars. It's so, it's so bad. Like, it's not a good voice and I can't. Does Finn still not have a good girl voice? I know Finn was like infamous for never having a good girl voice. I'll show you Vlad after. Do it without cringing. It's so bad. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can quite see that on camera. I took three gulps of that and I'm just, just give me a minute. After the third one, I realized, oh, I have not eaten anything today. Oh, no. This is going to be a fun stream, boys. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Right. Okay. So we got a limited amount of time before that. I always get really nervous, too. I'm not going to lie when there's alcohol involved with these kinds of creators. Because, again, are we intoxicating ourselves to get through work? I'm not sure. Etika did that a lot. Yeah, see, obviously I want the best for Finn. Like m my observation is like, I really want to see Finn happy and joyful. But since we know Finn's also having a hard time mentally, I like Finn reach out to me. If like Finster sees this, like I've reached out to him for interviews and stuff, like fuck that. Like if you want to talk to me in private, call me. I won't tell anyone you talk to me, like if you want privacy, but like he made a goal for 30,000 for girl month and he hit it. I love that, get your bag. But like, I just want to make sure people are healthy, happy and kind. That's been fun. <laughs> But I, I refuse to believe it. I think it's content. That's what it is. Because I think that everyone else, like, I think that everyone that's like in the same space, like the femboy areas, they're all way look way better looking than I am. Ah, oh, but then some are funny. I think Astra's funnier than me. That's the thing is like when you're comparing yourself, it's like I look, I can't tell how pretty I am or if people are here for the content. Like that's a really hard narrative to go to like, to wonder. I know e-girls feel that way. I know sex workers feel that way for sure. Everyone's got an aesthetic though, but no wonder Finn feels it. Cause some of these guys like, like Vlad, Vlad looks nothing like his boy self. Vlad transforms. I would never recognize Vlad and Vlad, like girl Vlad, boy Vlad, but Finn, Finn, boy Finn and girl Finn look the same. Like, I hope that's not offensive, but like, yes, he looks done up and more femme, but like, Boy, fem, boy Finn and girl Finn look the same versus Vlad. Vlad looks, to Vlad is like full on like cosplaying or drag. Like it's just full on changing it, right? So it is one of those things where I think it's easier for Vlad to probably separate the persona and the meme. But I wonder if it's getting much harder for Finn to do it. And so that's where I worry like healthy, happy, kind. I do worry about, you know, that relationship he's having with his consciousness. Like, does he need to do some grounding work? Does he need to, I'm glad he's in like, has at least a diagnosis. I'm glad he's working with a professional. But then on the other side of mental health, there's also like philosophy. Like, what are we doing? How do we feel fulfilled? Like, what is this content, content that we're making? Who are we making it for? It sounds very hard. You know, I think Nano has better like content ideas than I do. I don't know, they've all got little pieces to the puzzle. And I'm like uh, Mario in Mario Kart, where I'm not good at I'm not good at one thing specifically, but I'm a, I'm pretty I'm I'm solid at like everything. <laughs> I can make like I'm okay at everything, but I'm not great at one thing. You know. I wanted to talk about Finn is because somebody related to somebody, 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 somebody reached out to me and basically said, "Hey, I'm really concerned about Finn's mental health, but Finn isn't hiding it. Finn's been very blunt and honest about his mental status. And I think there's something really important here because, you know, if you compare him to like a Vlad who has like a very, very specific look, he can, he knows when he's working and he knows when he's not. Finn doesn't have that. And then Finn has it in his regular life. Finn gets falsies like nails and gets his eyelashes done and does all of these things that even when he's not working, he's like 
femme. But then the question is, is he just a boy who wants to be a girl? Because like, I love that. And that's not trans. Like, okay, queer bubble language right now, guys. We're going into the queer bubble, gender affirming, gender queer bubble. Okay, is is Finn a boy who wants to be a girl? Not a trans woman, not reaffirming the binary. Remember that trans men and trans women reaffirm the binary, right? I'm like, okay, we're going full progressive language here. Trans men and trans women reaffirm the binary. Everyone else is having a gender fluidity within the binary. That's why it's a spectrum. So is Finn neither a trans man, trans woman, but a cis man who's experiencing the desire to be a, a woman or a girl specific. This is very specific. I don't feel like a boy. I feel like a boy man, like a man boy. But I don't feel like when I'm feeling like a man, I don't feel like an Andrew Tate man. I feel like a man boy, like a boy van man boy. But also he gains like an anime boy. I feel like an anime boy. Like when I feel like a boy, I feel like Luffy. I don't feel like Andrew Tate. Right? When Finn is feeling like a girl, is he just like being precious and like this? Like, is he, you know, wanting to be like given gifts by his girlfriend and, you know, all the gender, flu yeah, it's obviously a part of the gender fluidity spectrum. This is definitely the gender bubble. Yeah, gender non conforming. Like, it's, you know, it's interesting. Like, it's, it's hard to say what Finn is going through, but he's obviously got a thing. And I wonder if he knows he can land on one of them. Like, he's allowed to be a boy who wants to be treated like a girl. He's a, he's allowed to be all these things. Sounds um, if he wants to be a man but wants to be a boy. With all due respect, this gender shit is some form of sociopathy. Um, yeah, I just feel like bubbles, right? Like, you're in a bubble and, you know, I like, I like how the same planet that believes in gods can't fathom the idea that gender could be a spectrum. Listen, okay, we all believe in magic in different ways. We all believe in subjectivity. We're all subject here. So gender-wise, okay? So I don't know, like, I think he's having like a very specific relationship and I want him to have it, but I don't know if he has the language to have it. You know what I mean? But I wonder if that's the issue. And that's why everyone's like, oh, he's trans, he's trans, he's trans. He doesn't have to be trans. Like he doesn't have to be trans. You know what I mean? But he could be transgender fluid, not trans binary, because binary trans is different, right? Like, um... Like Elliot Page is reinforcing the binary of male. Like Elliot Page is in the binary, right? And then, uh, give me a trans woman. I can't think of a trans woman right now. Caitlyn Jenner <laughs> is reaffirming the feminine woman binary. They're like reaffirming the binary. But Finn could be somewhere on the spectrum of gender fluidity, right? And that's what I'm wondering. Maybe he wants to be both genders. Yeah, maybe he's just gender fluid, which I'm here for, right? You know? Did it exist in 2013? All of this existed since the beginning of time. We just had different ways of expressing it. You know what I mean? Like, gender's always been a construct. We've always just had different relationships with it. I'm a bio woman, but I feel like a trans woman sometimes because I don't feel whatever society says a woman is enough. But I suspect I'm not the only girl who grew up feeling this way. For sure. Yeah, that could be like a form of like non-binary or a form of just being like a woman who doesn't fit into a stereotype. But if you go to a different bubble that treats women the way you want to be treated, I wonder if you'd be reaffirmed in your femaleness. Because like I go to certain bubbles and I'm like, oh, I f I'm definitely a woman here. And I go to another bubbles and I'm like, oh, I feel like a boy here. You know, so like there's that. Again, I think gender is subjective. I think it's like a spiritual relationship you're having with your consciousness. I know a girl with similar issue. She, they, wants to be able to be kind of both, but always feels like a man or mask woman outperforming her at a certain masculine, a woman outperform her at certain masculine things. Mm, is he a femboy? I think he is technically like a femboy, but that's more like the aesthetic and not the personal experience he's having with his gender. I feel like Finn is, there's too many layers to examine it. So if I was with him and we were doing calls together, I'd be like, okay, Finny. What is your sex? What is your gender? What is your aesthetic? Because these things are diff three th different things to me. Your aesthetic is fashion vibes. Femboy is, in my opinion, aesthetic. Then gender is kind of like that relationship you're having with what are you feeling internally? 
whether it's it's expressed or not. And then sex is like biology, male or female, right? So I know I'm female. I internally feel like I switch with my gender. And then aesthetically, traditionally, I mostly aesthetically am like, like cute kind of, I don't know actually guys, what am I? Am I like femme neutral? I feel like I'm femme neutral. I'm not high femme and I'm not low femme, but I'm like femme neutral almost. Like girly earrings, but like this is just like a normal crop top, right? There's like nothing. And even when I wear a dress, I don't even feel that super high femme, right? So wait, Caitlyn Jenner, literally who? You don't know who Caitlyn Jenner, isn't Caitlyn Jenner that Republican? Oh God, isn't that her name? With a C, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh my God, that's her name, right? <laughs> yeah, that's her name. You supporting and taking their bullshit seriously reinforces their beliefs. Everyone believes something. So yes, in this space, on this channel, I want to reinforce that like you're allowed to believe whatever you want, okay? That doesn't give you a justification for hurting people. But like if you believe in a God, cool, bro. I'm not with it, but you do you. As long as your God doesn't tell you to hurt people, I'm fine with it. If your gender, like you want to have a different belief with it, cool, dude. Just don't hurt people because of it, right? Your beliefs, everyone believes, most people are believing things. Very few people know anything. You know, tomboy, fairy, queen vibes. Oh my God, thank you. Um, trans women are technically just tra detransitioning because everyone starts female in the womb. Some straight men feel attracted to themselves when in drag. I've heard this. That's, this is why I don't believe in gender. Yeah, well, I don't think gender exists. Gender is subjective and that's why it does exist. Do you know what I'm saying? Like sex exists, but gender is an internal relationship you're having with your consciousness. It doesn't exist. It's not tangible. It's an experience. Just like your thoughts don't exist because like you can't grab a thought. Like they just come and go. Like how do you know they're real? How do you express to someone that you have thoughts? Right? Like that's how I think of gender. It's for you and you alone. You have thoughts. You can't verify it for anyone. No one, you cannot prove to anyone that you have thoughts. There are some people who say they don't have an inner monologue. You cannot prove to somebody you have thoughts. But I believe that you have thoughts because I have thoughts. And I have an inner monologue, so I assume you do. But there are people who do not have inner thoughts, do not have inner monologues, right? And there are people who don't share the relationship with gender you're having. They can't prove it to you. You either have to believe them or not. Now, some people I meet, I'm like, I'm not sure you're having the same relationship with gender that I am, but cool, dude. And we're all having a different relationship with it, right? But like, that's the thing. I can't prove to you gender. I, like, I can't prove to you that I have inner thoughts. There's no way to prove that. Do you think the transgender community can influence someone who maybe never even had a thought if they were in the wrong body? Yeah, of course. Just like religious people can convince people they're not gay or just like religious people can convince people they're not trans when they are, people who aren't trans might think they are. That's the problem with bubbles. That's the problem with making prescriptions. The problem with telling the world like there's only one way to be is you're going to F someone up, my bros. The conservatives are so afraid of trans people. How do you think trans people have felt their whole life? The same thing you're worried are going to happen to like people who like were never trans in the first place are happening to trans people right now. Trans people right now are trying to tell you I'm real and you're like, no, you're not. So yes, okay, would not having an inner monologue be a, be a block to introspection? Because um, I cannot fathom myself introspective without having an inner monologue. I don't, I wouldn't want to say so. I want to say it's just a matter of like knowing how to problem solve. I don't think trans people are a monolith. I don't think cis people are a monolith. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to come off like a douche. No, for sure, bro. I just wanted to make it clear that my content is for people who don't care about the rules because I do think human beings know very little about the world or themselves. I just don't even think you could fathom something you can't understand. I remember when I first learned about gender, I was like, oh, it's like religion. Cool. Then I started to hate gender politics because I hate gender politics. I hate politics. It ruins everything that's great about being alive. Everything that's great about being alive is ruined because of politics. Then I was like, F non-binary people, F the gender fluidity, so stupid. Then I had a reawakening where I was like, okay, bro, I'm having like a unique experience internally. I would like to know how to express that. Gender fluidity. Gender. Okay, got it. Like, if I take away the politics, gender is like an amazing thing to play with. If I get political, I want to die. 
Because politics are awful. It ruins everything. Politics ruins the fact that you're brown. It ruins the fact that you're a woman. It ruins the fact that you're a white man. Everything about politics ruins society. It makes everyone miserable because it segregates and like pins us up against each other because nothing is ever acceptable to anyone unless you fit into the box. I dislike politics so much. What a waste of our time. What a waste of humanity's time. Okay, now, overall, we want Finn to recognize, like, the conflict with what's happening. I'm glad he got diagnosed. That's number one. So that's mental health. Physical health is that relationship he's having with how he's treating his own body. So we saw that he was working out earlier, which is really great. But because he doesn't like the way he looks, which is his mental health, it's going to ruin the relationship he's having with his physical health. Then he has to figure out his spiritual health. Why is he here on the planet? Does he believe in a God? Does he think like he's an evolved animal? What's the relationship he has to being alive? Okay. Um, then he's going to work out his financial health, which actually we saw a video. He seems to be okay there. So that's good. And then he's got to figure out who he is in the story. I mean, right now he knows he's the stereotype of being like the femboy, but like, what is that? What does that mean? Right? What does that mean in his life? Like who is Finn? When he's living his normal life, he seems very happy in his relationship, which is great. He seems very in love, which is great. We love and love people, but there's conflict there. So is it just mental health or is it philosophy and mental health? I feel like spirituality, that relationship you're having with philosophy um, and mental health coincide, but they're different. Like getting diagnosed, right, is really important. And then figuring out how you feel how you think about the way you feel is really important, right? Because mental health can really mess with the way you feel, even if, it's not, even if it's not how you think. And that's the problem. So I really want the best for Finn. I really wish he would talk to me, but I, you know, the thing is like, I'm not sure he wants to get like deep about his like, you know, stuff. I don't want to like, you know, overwhelm him like that. But obviously he's so sweet and so kind. And I just think he's really going through it. And so we obviously want to send good vibes but if you're like Finn or you're like me and you're questioning like your relationship to gender, remember it's a bubbles thing and you're allowed to bubble hop, right? Like when I'm at my parents' house, even though my mom's like, you're being such a boy. She let me wear boys clothes all of my youth, all of my middle school, my high school. In high school, about 16, 15, 16, um, well, 14, I wore a skirt for like you know, I used to wear skirts for church and then I wore pants for the first time. And then at 14, I tried to dress like a girl and go hang out with my youth group. That was cringe. Then at 15, 16, I started wearing like tighter sweaters because I used to wear really baggy clothes. Then I wore tighter sweaters and started like accentuating my body. And then as I got older, I got more and more comfortable with being like a girl and wearing girl clothes and doing girl things and showing off my boobs. And now that I'm older, my favorite look at home is like sweatpants and sweater and big lesbian clothes. Like I like, I like looking like kind of like I just went to the gym at home and then on stream I'm like oh let's match my earrings and wear like little like things but like I don't wear this stuff like off stream I just dress I look like I'm going to the gym but like in sweatpants and hoodies right um I don't even have cute gym clothes like I'm not I'm not the gym girl who has like the matching clothes I'm the gym girl who goes like in the big hoodie and stuff because I like to look like um I'm stronger than I am yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like I just go straight to like neutral because something about being sexy is performative to me. Like when my boobs are out and I'm not doing a nudist vibe. So, OK, if I'm in a nudist vibe, then I'm not thinking about being a man or a woman. When I'm just naked in the house and I'm being nudist, I'm not really thinking about being anything. I'm just neutral. I'm just a blob of skin. But then if I'm like dressed in a way that's like supposed to accentuate my boobies, like I put on lingerie the other day because, you know, <laughs> I'm married and I was like surprising my person and I like showed up in my little lingerie outfit. I'm obviously a high performing femme and I'm like, but if I just like show up and I'm like naked in the kitchen and I'm like eating a peach, I'm not like doing anything. I'm just naked in the kitchen. So like even for me, femininity is like very performative. I have to think about that I'm being sexy Versus just being like a naked nymph who's like running through a garden. Does that make sense? I just feel different every time I'm doing different things. Urban Dictionary describes a guy's girl as follows. A mix between tomboy and girly girl hangs out with manly guys and has boyish interests. Whether it's sports, comics, or boyish tastes in films. Hmm. And TV. But still keeps a group of girl mates to shop with, watch chick flicks, and gossip about boys. 
What even is a man, a woman or a man to be fair? I, who knows? Mm, sexuality is complicated. I am straight, but I am mainly attracted to tomboys or top, top vibe girls. Am I a man lesbian? I mean, honestly, though. So if you are adorned or don't like to accessorize, you might feel less feminine, maybe. I don't know. It's very fascinating what is considered feminine and how women femmes identify with it. For sure. I mean, every bubble is different, though. Like, what identifies a woman in another bubble is different. Like, in my bubble growing up, earrings and makeup identified women, unless you were a rock star. If you were a rock star, you had makeup on. But unless you were a rock star, if you were a guy who wore earrings or lipstick or makeup, you were gay or you were a woman. You know what I mean? So everything feels different. Like I know in my life, in my life, like even even Finn, Finster to get ready to be a girl puts on the feminine binary, but also is a femme boy. So he's performing femininity as a boy, as a man, which is different than a, being a trans woman who's reaffirming the binary and being a woman. But that's the problem. Like all of this is a construct based off the bubble. So it depends on who you're being reinforced by and who you're reinforcing it for yourself. And again, I love categorization. I want there to be a hundred ways to identify. I just want people to be honest with seeking out what their identity is. I don't want, you know how Finn is like, I'm not a trans woman. I think this is so important and, and amazing of him to be like, hey, don't miscategorize me. Because it's easy if you only have so many tools to miscategorize him. It is so easy to assume Everyone's just a trans woman who's like Finster. But there are so many other labels. There's so many other ways to exist. There are so many other cultures and religions and spiritual practices. You do not have to choose one or two or five or six. There are thousands. You know what I mean? Then 